Hi everybody, welcome to another Sims 4 build. Um, this one is my parents' house. Uh, I spent the last 10 years-ish of my life in this house. We moved here when I was 11. Um, I was really mad when we moved because I liked our old house, but we lived in like college neighborhood and my mom couldn't handle the partying anymore. So we left and I'm still mad about it. So anyway, um, this is on 50, 50, 50 by 50 lot. Um, that might be too big, but this house um, is really long. Uh, it's very horizontal. No, that's not the word I'm looking for. It's very, it's just very wide. So I had to put this on a pretty big lot. Um, I started to build this on a smaller lot and it did not work. So um, I will say right now that I probably should have just used custom content for this. There's no custom content in this build. I wish that there was because it's my parents' house and nobody cares except for me. Um, so first off, uh, you will see me over and over and over again come back to the windows in this build. I am not ever satisfied with the window choices. Um, they don't give you a ton of window choices in base game. Um, and I really struggled to find the right one because all of the windows on the outside of this house have shutters, um, but I couldn't make that happen. Um, even, I mean, they're shutters, but they're not functional shutters, so I guess it doesn't super, super duper matter, but I wanted it to look right. Um, this house was built in, uh, I believe 1963. Uh, it's one of the only, I say this, it's one of the only two story houses on the block. It's actually three stories. Um, because there is a basement, as you can see, I just added, I don't actually finish the basement in this build. Um, We've lived there 10 years and my parents have never, you know, remodeled the basement like they did in the house that I grew up in. Um, so I just added it to, for the sake of, of putting the stairs in the correct place. Um, there, um, I, I did most of this by memory because I don't live here anymore. Um, I did a lot of this house from memory. Um, I did have some picture references later and you can see like huge pauses in the video where <laughs> nothing happens and that's when I was looking up picture references. Um, I did reposition the stairs and all the walls and every single room several times just because I wasn't happy with how it looked. Um, this is a house of closets. There are so many weird weirdly shaped and weirdly placed closets in this house. Um, the first one being by the entryway, which is sort of, it's tucked in behind the stairs and around the stairs. And there used to be two closets and my mom knocked out the wall and turned it into one. Um, my mom has absolutely turned this house upside down since we bought it. Um, the kitchen tiles are actually like a tan and black, not a white and black, but, um, didn't quite have what I was looking for and I didn't really want to mess with the triangular tiles because it's a nightmare, so I didn't. Um, like I said, uh, I eventually found some pictures um, on a on the like a realtor site uh, from before we, I say we, before my mom and dad remodeled this house. Um, and this house, when we bought it, I say we, I didn't, I was 11, I had no financial part of uh, buying this house. Um, but when we moved in, this house was a white box. It was like just the most boring 60s looking, I don't even want to say 60s because it wasn't like fun, colorful 60s. It was like one wall of wood paneling and the house was a white box. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a huge pause right here. You can see me just stop building and it's because I was looking for references um here I go repositioning everything man the thing about repositioning uh and resizing rooms in a house this big uh which is I think a reason one of the reasons why you don't see a lot of huge mansion builds anymore like you did on the sims 2 and some on the sims 3 um I think the reason you don't see that is because when you reposition one thing you have to reposition every single thing because all of it's related. So the kitchen is one of the, is just the first room that I put together just to check for scale. I just wanted to make sure that I 
had correctly placed everything because sometimes you get a house correctly proportioned and then you put like a bed or something in and the bed is dwarfed by just the size of the room uh so and then i man i had a lot of problems with the like testing cheats i was trying to find the debug menu which i know how to do but it was giving me the like you didn't do this correctly entered the code wrong but i did find it eventually um i haven't messed with the debug menu a ton so i was looking for certain you know extra decorative things and just for the life of me could not find what i wanted my mom has this little coat rack she's obsessed with us putting our shoes away in the right spot and all that jazz Sorry, mom, not making fun of you. I totally am. More struggling with the windows. The front of the house has like where the living room is and on the front porch that you will see me build in a second. Um, these windows are like, it's a huge window that stretches across almost the entire front of the living room. And I just, I could not find what I wanted and I settled on something eventually. I don't remember what it was. You'll see in a second. Um, there's this weird overhang on the second floor. I'm not, it's like more than just the front porch. It weirdly hangs over the, the front of the, the living room. So I'm messing with the entryway again. My mom knocked out the wall here because there was like a weird corner turn thing. Um, and the front door actually opens the other way now. Um, I don't know what she did. It, it's, I like, I, I know what she did, but I couldn't remember, like I couldn't recreate it accurately from memory. So there's a little bit of weird space in the living room that you'll see. So I'm creating a like fake garage door here. There's no cars in The Sims 4 and I've seen other people kind of do the same thing. I end up decreasing the size later just because this garage is way too big. It's like a two and a half car garage. Um, and I didn't put anything in the garage when we get to the final build. Um, because again, like I didn't want to put cars in there, but it's mostly just my parents like uh, workshop, I guess you'd say. There's just a lot of tools. They do a lot of home renovation projects. Sorry, I'm messing with the roof a lot. You will see me mess with this roof again and again and again. Um, there is a basement entrance on this house. Couldn't quite figure out how to do it on The Sims 4 uh, build tools here uh, without just creating a massive hole in the ground. Um, and it doesn't really matter because again, there's nothing in the basement, but there is like a walk up to the back deck entrance that you will see. Man, I really fought the terrain tools. I think if I had to do this all again, I would find a different way. Might just build, like make it a three story house and sink the whole thing into the ground. That might look really strange. If I had to do it again, I'd figure it out. Okay, so there's a ton of um, outdoor areas for this house. There's this um, screened in porch, which I kind of just make an extra room. Um, there's a back deck, which I didn't put any furniture on because by the time I got around to it, I was just sick and tired of this build. Um, so you'll have to forgive me, mom. But uh, there, yeah, there's like a screened in porch and there's windows all the way around. And I just kind of picked um, just a classic double pane window here. Um, man, when I placed the fence on the back deck, the stairs going down to the basement like freaked out. I don't know what they did. I didn't touch them. Is like a constraint elevation thing that The Sims 4 doesn't have. Um, but oh well, it worked out. I could replace them. Okay, we're almost to the fun part of this, I promise. 
let me just mess with the roof a lot. The roof really fought me. I was trying to make it just as accurate and specific as I could and it just was not having it. But again, like nobody cares except for me, so I got over it. I think that the roof above where the back porch is, I think it's flat. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it is. You can really only see that part of the roof from my brother's room, because um, I think there's a window that I forgot to add, but I'm never really in my brother's room, so I don't know. I'm sure if he watches this, he'll be like, oh, you didn't do this right, and but whatever. I, I did what I could. Man, the roof was fighting me. One more resize. I'm sure it won't be the last. I just could not figure out how big the kitchen was <laughs> or anything in this house. Um, I ended up deleting like two of the windows, so. Because I was going by a picture reference of the garage and there are eight tiny windows in the garage door across the front. So I put in eight and it ended up being way too big. So I just decreased it down to six eventually. Okay, here's the fun stuff. So on the front porch, um, when we moved in, there were like wrought iron columns going up the front and I thought they looked cool. Uh, my mom did not, so she uh, turned them into wooden columns. Um, the thing you'll see me look for in the debug menu is um, violin bows because my parents both teach orchestra and we have a lot of spare instruments floating around. And with old bows, my mom sticks them in the front garden and it's just a cute little decoration. But all of the violin bows on The Sims 4, when you pull them out of the debug menu, are uh, like laying flat and not sticking up. Which I guess makes sense, but I wanted it to work because I just thought it'd be a really cute personal touch. My mom really likes flowers and gardening. Um, there is a fountain in this front garden. It's not this big, but oh well, I wanted it to be a fountain. <laughs> this house, uh, both the inside and outside are just covered in flowers. I do not like landscaping on The Sims 4. Um, it takes forever. Uh, I had to put all those little grass pieces in individually. There's monkey grass out in the front and it's a nightmare. And I shouldn't have, I should have waited to put in that little extra side thing because I ended up having to move all of it again. Okay, I was convinced that there were hanging baskets in the base game, but I guess there aren't. Um, so I had to make my own. Um, I think what I end up doing is just take some flower pots and increase the height of the object. So if you look really closely, they're kind of hanging in midair. Um, it looks a little silly, but if you don't look too closely, it's okay. <laughs> I remember making the house that I grew up in a different house um, on The Sims 2 when I was like in middle school and showing it to my mom and she was not impressed. <laughs> so I think this looks far more accurate than whatever I built on Sims 2 because also the house that we grew up in um, had the stairs just like this where there's like L-shaped stairs and there was a landing. Actually, I think on the little house that I grew up in it was U-shaped stairs, so it couldn't be done on The Sims 2. 
uh, as far as I know. Maybe on Sims 3 you could do some messing with the elevation, but I, I couldn't make it happen. So it didn't look very accurate. <laughs> And uh, for the entryway, what you saw a second ago, I could not find wallpaper that I liked that was accurate. So, sorry mom, you're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> um, a thing that I would like to find a better way to do on The Sims 4 is built-ins. Um, as far as I know, like, there's just not any options for built-ins that aren't custom content. Um. I'm sure there's fun, creative ways to get around it. So what I did here was there's shelves right next to the fireplace and I just had to readjust the wall and where the wall is and just add some floating shelves. Again, messing with the windows up front. And my mom has remodeled the entryway. Um, she did that in the last couple years of me living there before I went to college slash moved out. So, um, I not- I can't for the life of me remember what the entryway looks like. I don't think it's that narrow coming into the living room. Man, there's this cabinet there where I stack two dressers that you just saw, and I hate that cabinet. My mom knows that I hate that cabinet, because it's shaky, and she has these really expensive, like, plates or, like, a vase on top, and it shakes every time we open it, and we keep our instruments in there, so we have to open it, and it sucks. <laughs> Also, this white couch is not quite accurate. It's more like a big oversized love seat. And it was crazy expensive. Um, my mom like had a custom made couch ordered and um, she like wouldn't let us sit on it for a couple of years because she wanted it to remain like perfectly intact. Um, until like one of her friends like spilled the smallest drop of white wine on it and she had to flip the cushion. What a traumatizing event. When you start building a house this big, your options for like decorating it up with what the game uh, classifies as clutter are so limited. Um, and I think custom content wise, like that's the first thing that people go looking for is clutter. Also, I should mention, I think I already said everybody in my family plays an instrument. So I decorated with like violins and stuff all over the place. <laughs> Also, I don't, besides this front hall closet here, I don't put anything in any of the closets because it just feels like such a waste of space and a waste of time. Because the Sims don't really need closets the way that actual humans do. Also, I think I forgot the curtains in the living room. Oh well. Man, my mom is obsessed with subway tile. If there's anything you need to know about my mom, it's that she loves flowers and subway tile. So like the backsplash for the kitchen here, I don't think it's like this all the way around the way that I've put it, but it did the best I could do. Um, my mom just, if, if she can put subway tile in house, she will. Why is there a TV in the kitchen, you might ask? Well, my dad does a lot of cooking. He cooks and cleans the kitchen all the time and he does it while he watches the Andy Griffith show. <laughs> so that's what the TV's for. Yeah, normally my parents park the car in the garage and come in through the little entrance, side entrance into the kitchen there so they keep all their shoes and stuff. There is a full bath downstairs, which um, a lot of houses do not have, but um, the original owner of this house, I believe in the later years of his life, was um, in a wheelchair. So they added a full bath downstairs and his bedroom turned into what is now um, my dad's office downstairs. 
So neat, there's like an extra full bath. Okay, so this is the, the dining room, which in real life is this crazy deep shade of magenta. My mom let 13 year old me pick out what color the dining room was gonna be. And so of course I, I, picked, uh, I picked pink because it matched all her floral decor. <laughs> but it's, it's way darker than this. Um, I think this is like as close as I could get without it looking weird or purple. Now, oh yes, now I remember to add the curtains in. I don't, I don't think I put them in the living room. <laughs> oh well. So this is our family room as we call it. It's just an informal living room. And it was at this point when I was doing this house that I kind of realized that this house exists on like a one and a half tile, if you know what I mean. The Sims like doesn't really let you, it doesn't let you put walls on the half tiles. Like everything has to be exactly, every room has to be exactly a square uh, and not half tile. And I guess for game design reasons, I understand, but it was really frustrating because this house is like, every room is either just too big or just too small. And it's weird, again, when you're recreating things from memory, I couldn't remember where the windows were. And I'm sitting here asking my boyfriend who's seen this house and he's like, I don't know if there's a window there or not. So there could be a window right between like the desk and the couch. I don't remember. <laughs> Fun drinking game for all of you above the age of 21, uh, in the United States at least. Uh, every time I mess with the windows, <clears throat> take a shot. <laughs> You'll have to go to the hospital, I'm sure. Yeah, right where that lamp is, I'm not sure. I feel like there's a window. I decided to be safe and not put one in. My mom has these like old vintage signs hanging above the couch right there. And my mom loves collectible plates, like old, probably Avon. If I had to guess, my great grandmother sold stuff for Avon. So if I had to guess it's all Avon um, decor. She has a lot of it. <laughs> And um, my mom sometimes has the treadmill out. She's gonna go walking, like usually during the winter when it's too cold. So this is my dad's um, office. Um, he doesn't actually spend a lot of time in here. Uh, it's usually, it's just kind of the library. Oh man, okay, so there's no um, like upright keyboard or um, upright piano. 
uh, in The Sims 4. So I just <laughs> put a grand piano in there and had to hide it with plants in the front. So it looks a little silly if you look too closely at it. So again, um, no good way to do built-in shelves in The Sims 4. Um, so I just did some makeshift shelves with floating shelves and columns. Um, again, my dad or my whole family plays the violin or cello, if my brother's case. So, um, lots of violin decor. I found these like homemade violins in the debug menu that look, um, neat as decor. Probably not to actually play. Um, my dad has a ton of books, like old college textbooks, um, basically everything that Tolkien's ever written, um, method books for teaching violin and viola. So I just put as many books as I could fit in this room. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the upstairs. So there's this weird closet that goes right above the stairway and it actually connects the there's like a hall closet it connects to the guest room closet uh i didn't end up putting a door there the way that there is in the real house because i know that sims usually find the path of least resistance uh and i didn't want them and when i say that it, it doesn't always make a ton of sense so i ended up just not adding it because i didn't want sims to be walking through this tiny narrow closet all the time because that would look really strange So the master bedroom in this house is huge. Most of the bedrooms in this house are are absolutely huge. Probably too big, in my opinion. Um, this house is too big, <laughs> especially now that I'm I don't live there, and my brother is, um, you know, in the middle of college and doesn't live there all the time. It's just a big house <laughs> for two people to live in now. Just my mom, and my dad. Yeah. Okay. Another built-in fiasco. I just kind of did this. It doesn't look great, but oh well. I'll live with it. I spent way too long decorating this bathroom, but this is a bathroom that my brother and I share, so I spent a lot of time in here and I know exactly what it looks like. That being said, I think the shelf is at the wrong place above the toilet, but oh well. <laughs> Yeah, my mom has like, I think everyone's mom has these like little blue and white set of plates and other decor things. Um, I've seen them in so many people's houses, <laughs> like little plates. My mom has these little like clog looking things. Um, I don't know, but they're blue and white and they all have the same like twall pattern on them. <laughs> oh, I did fix the shelf. All right. Good on me. Good job, Allison. Okay, so this is my parents' room. They, uh, The Sims 4 doesn't have a ton of bedding options. In The Sims 3, you could customize absolutely everything, and it I'm sure that that's what made the game run so slow, one of the many reasons. Um, so my mom's just gonna have to live with this bed. <laughs> So right across from where the bed is, my parents actually have like the crib from when my brother and I were babies, um, like a little rocking cradle thing. It's not a bassinet, it's huge. Um, my granddad actually made it, so that's why they keep it, but they don't have anything like that in The Sims, so I just went with an ottoman and my mom's many, many collectible plates on display shelves above that. <laughs> So this room ended up being just a little bit too big, um, but I did reshape it later, as you will see. Okay, so this purple monstrosity that you're about to see is my bedroom. I don't spend a ton of time decorating it because there, the video is not frozen, by the way. I think I had to go eat dinner. <laughs> this was a six hour build, so sorry, had to go eat something. Um, but I didn't spend a ton of time decorating my own room just because I, I didn't care at this point. Um, 
<laughs> you can see me really lose steam by the time we get to the end of this build. My bedspread at home is actually yellow and not purple, but again, very limited choices, so I did what I could. Oddly enough, I think this room is just a little bit small and misshapen, but that's okay. I lived. Um, above my bed, I actually have like a tree decal, not clouds, um, and I used to collect cats and I would hang them on the tree um, with like command hooks, but that's a little too specific for The Sims. <laughs> so this is my brother's room. You can see me mess with like a pool ladder because I'm trying really hard to make bunk beds. Bunk beds don't actually function in The Sims 4 as far as I know, unless you're using custom content. Um, and I think there might be a window right there next to his bed, but I don't know. Um, I couldn't remember. So I made bunk beds with no ladder. You'll have to deal. I think uh, he's actually rearranged his room since I moved out, but uh, oh well, that's just how I remember it. So that's how it's gonna be. All right, this is my parents' bathroom. Um, I haven't spent a ton of time in here, um, except for like when my mom was cutting my hair in high school. Um, so it's not super duper accurate. Oh man, okay, so this is the guest room. Um, when I have friends stay over, uh, this is where they stay, and according to my friend Mary, this is quote the most 90s room ever, and my mom's like, I really need to update it, and all my friends are like, no, you can't update this room, it's so perfect the way it is. And the Sims 4 build here that I've done does not do it justice. This entire room is just covered in floral pink and green stuff. I don't even remember if the room is pink or green. It's, it's both, and it is super 90s, and everybody loves it. Um, so don't remodel it, mom. <laughs> and okay, so I'm really struggling with the back porch here for a second. Um, or not yet, just kidding. But uh, this is the back porch. Um, it's a screened in porch and this is not the most accurate because uh, the Sims 4 doesn't give you super duper ton of options for uh, at least the base game for um, outdoor furniture. Okay, this is where I start struggling because you get this conflicting block clusters and I've never seen this before. And I think it's just because I have too many things going on back here, like too many rooms. So I had to uh, eventually resize the lower deck, which is okay. And I, again, I didn't put any furniture on this. <laughs> you can see me stop and look it up. I didn't put any furniture on the back deck because I had lost so much steam at this point. Um, I was like five hours into this build. But eventually I got it. There's this weird side door that we don't use because it's broken because I think the dog ate through it or something. It, I don't know. <laughs> there we go. That's what it looks like, more or less. Um, this bar here that you can see me do with the green, um, my mom actually, it's a mosaic tile on the top and she and I kind of did that together. I think there's more cabinets back there that I just didn't add like on the side but oh well. And then by the time I got around to finishing up I realized that I had made the overhang on the side way too big um, but it ended up working out for the best because uh, I had just forgotten how big the closet were was. My parents have this huge walk-in closet and I added a fence on the side. Um, I didn't fence in the whole yard and the driveway is actually a little bit longer. So here's a walk through living room, kitchen, dining room, family room, uh, the studio as we call it, bathroom, back porch, hallway, guest room, my brother and I's rooms, bathroom, and there's a finished product. So yeah, took me six hours of my life and um, took uh, a ton of time and uh, I think I did a pretty good job. I my, uh, Here's a picture of my parents house <laughs> as it appears on uh, Google Earth. So there it is. Here's the Sims 4 version. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I will be posting more builds soon. Um, yeah, stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Uh, don't, don't go outside. <laughs> thanks for watching.